Hi, this is Ashma and Thea. Our final project is Wave FX for fluid simulation. This is what final result look like, and we'll show more in a minute. Next, we are going to present an overview of the project, talk about some implementing approach. The object of this project is to develop a Maya plugin for a large body in compressible fluid simulation. It could automatically generate water surface, allow object-water interaction, and also the scene could be rendered in Maya. The original intention of this project is based on the cigarette paper Wave Particle by Sam et al. in 2007, which simulate water surface and object-water interaction based entirely on particles and high-field algorithm. In practice, we use this algorithm for water-object coupling while doing fluid simulation with SPH algorithm. We also refer to papers as particle-based fluid simulation for interactive application, real-time particle-based simulation, and construction of non-blobby surface from particles for more information. So for water surface construction, we use SPH method coupling marching cubes and metaballs. Rigid body simulation is generated using the same method in boom blocks assignment in CIS 563. Boundary is detected for reflection, and reflection and particle rigid body interaction is calculated for fluid object interaction. In implementation process, we begin with an OpenGL application, which tests our base code, and then we integrate with Maya with mail scripting. Libraries included are used for OpenGL rendering, OpenGL transformation, and Maya API. Third-party software we are using is Fluid V2.0 for particle system, boom block code for rigid body part, and marching cube algorithm. Our data flow is the SPH one. Once initialize the scene, we partition the scene into grids. Then, particle forces have to be calculated to affect the particles and grid vertices value could be achieved for marching cube algorithm. Object forces should also be computed to update object position and velocity. Here shows user's workflow. We loaded the plugin, and then adjust some fluid parameter on the right-hand side panel. In the node panel, users can load a different rigid body file to get different object into the scene. Object here changes different scene type, like you want a water pool or an open ocean. Threshold and cube size modulate water surface. Scene is initialized in this step. And shaders we provide are loaded as well. Finally, by pressing the render button, users can get final image. First, let's see object interact with particles. Here comes water surface with some wave effect. And here is object interact with water surface. Thanks for your time.